Hey, I'm Kalash and today I'm making a book nook. I started by cutting up some foam core into the size of my book. I'll be honest, I only own two books at the moment, but I really wanted to make a book nook anyway. I could have just carved details into the foam, but I made the walls out of polymer clay instead. I rolled out thin pieces and cut them to fit the size of the walls. As usual, I'm working in a random order and started making the teeth for the face on the wall first, instead of the wall itself. After rounding the teeth, I also made some pillars that go below the face. Added the gums and we can finally make the wall. I drew in some lines for the stone blocks and smoothed them a bit. After adding the face later, you can't really see the wall that well, but it makes me happy knowing the details are there. It would have been easier to make the walls from foam, but the resin I use later gets very hot, so I'm not sure if they would melt. And I use some real rocks to texture the clay. After that, I started assembling the pieces I made before. I also made this round thing that's going to be where the water is coming out from. And of course, it wouldn't be a video of mine without me making something phallic looking. I am running out of the clay I've been using, so maybe it's time to buy a grey one instead of this horrible flesh one. I have also launched my Patreon, so if you'd like to support me and get some behind the scenes content and early work in progress previews, check out the link in the description below. I put the face together and added some other details. I also made a little circle in the middle of the forehead where I'll be adding a gem later. Then I rolled together some clay and wrapped it around some parts as vines to make the whole thing look more ancient. And as you can see, the end result looks uncannily similar to the original drawing. I then made the side walls the same way as the middle one, only without the face. For these ones, the details do matter, so I paid extra attention to that. I really liked that I added the vines, since they add a bit of color to the whole thing rather than it just being plain stone. Baking the wall went just as well as my cooking usually does, but it's okay since we are painting over it anyway. I covered everything in a few layers of dark grey and added a bit lighter color to the face to make it stand out a bit more. Went over everything with a dark wash, getting into all those little details. And a lighter dry brush on top to make everything look all fancy. The wines got painted a dark green and I later went over them with a lighter, more yellow tone to make them more interesting and alive. I glued the clay walls together with some super glue and filled in the gaps on the bottom with some UV resin. Then I glued the walls to an acrylic sheet. I used some quick seal, which works perfectly for helping me sleep peacefully, knowing the resin won't leak all over my room the second I look away. Seriously though, I've used it a few times now and not a single drop of resin has ever escaped. Before pouring the resin, I made a weird skeleton looking thing and a skull. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be, but let's say it's some dragon hybrid from ancient times. After baking, I painted them white and put them in the resin cage. Mixed up some blue resin and poured it in. I wanted the resin to be pretty dark, but still light enough to let the light shine through. You can't really see what I'm doing here, but I took a thin piece of plastic and glued it in. I also attached it to the base, and this will be the stream of water coming out of the wall. 
I glued down little pieces to create more space between the lights and the resin so they would diffuse a bit better. Since I never do proper planning for my projects, I needed to make some more stone pieces to fill up any gaps that were now there. I used the foam board to cut up some pieces and glued them down where needed. Then I got some fairy lights and decided to spend like 2 hours just to glue them down. I could have just glued them down randomly, but I wanted them to be evenly spaced out so there wouldn't be any spots where there are too many or no lights. I used some packaging foam to diffuse the lights even more and hide the jungle of wires. To glue the walls in, I used some white glue and a bit of hot glue on the other side so the foam attaches better. I then added a little piece to support the battery and glued the battery holder as well. I can still open it and change the batteries, but it's not just awkwardly floating around somewhere. For the water texture, I used a textured gel. I applied a light layer all over the water and after the first layer dried, I applied much more. And I dry brushed it with white paint. I ran out of hot glue, so I used contact cement to glue the top on. Somehow, I managed not to film it, but I'm sure you understand what happened. To fill in the gaps, I used some wall filler that I later sanded lightly. I added a thin layer of Mod Podge to the water to add a bit more shine back to it. Then lastly, I cut out the foam stone pieces for the front, painted them the same way as everything else, glued them on, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!